this video tutorial is brought to you by Rats Graphics. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of my After Effects tutorial. This time, we will be making a cinematic cloud slideshow. So without any further ado, I will show you what we are gonna be making today. As you saw, we will create a new composition and I will name it placeholder1. by 1080p, 30 frames per second and 6 seconds duration, click OK. I will go and open my assets folder, go to footage and I will drop down this footage on my timeline. Go to layer, create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and preset, apply color correction, then Go back to layer, create a new adjustment layer again. Go to effects and preset, color correction and apply dry tone. Go to composition and create a new composition. This time I will name it text placeholder 1. frames per second and 6 seconds duration click ok I will grab my text tool and I will type cinematic cloud I will drag it down a bit and then align it horizontally I'm using alternate gothic regular 110 pixel size and this spacing in between letters is 0 I will again grab my text tool and type slideshow This time I'm gonna be changing this font size to 50 and I will change it to medium. Letter height I will change it to 80. I will change the space in between letters probably 200 and then align it horizontally. I will just drag it down a bit and I will expand this layer, go to animate and go to tracking. I will place my playhead at the beginning of my timeline, create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch and change the tracking amount to about 75. And then move forward your playhead to about 2 seconds and change it to 0. I will highlight the cinematic cloud and expand it, go to animate and tracking. I will move my playhead to about at the beginning of my timeline. Create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch here. Go your playhead to about 1 second and 10 frames. And change the tracking amount to about 20. And highlight all the keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease it. And I will create a new composition. I will name it Media 1. 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 6 seconds duration click ok I will go to my project panel and drop down this placeholder 1 and also the text placeholder 1 then I will go to my flares drop it down to my timeline and also the particles I will right away pre-compose these particles, move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. I will change the blending mode here to add. I highlight these flares, right click my mouse and pre-compose it. Move all the attributes into the new composition and I will click OK. I will toggle the switches in here and change this to add. I will go back to my light click. I will drop it down here. Right away, I will pre compose it. Move all the attributes into the new composition. 
click OK and press T on my keyboard for the opacity. I will change the opacity to about 20% and also change the blending mode to add. I will highlight these flares, go to effects and preset, go to color correction, hue and saturation. I will check the colorize, change the colorize hue to about 29. Let's preview this. Go to project panel, close the footage, image, assets, and create a folder and I will name it intro. I will highlight the compositions in here and drag it into my intro folder. Again I will create another intro folder and I will call it scene 1. I will open my intro folder. I will highlight this placeholder 1 and text placeholder 1. Go to edit and duplicate it. I will drag this duplicated compositions to the scene 1 folder and highlight this media 1. Go to edit. I will drag it down to my scene 1 folder. And also the flares since I will change the position on it so I have to go to edit and duplicate it. I will drag it down to my scene 1 folder. I will open the scene one folder and highlight all these compositions. Double click my mouse to open it up. And I will hide this slideshow text. And just this cinematic cloud, I will double click my mouse to change the text. I will just change it to skyscraper. I will align it horizontally and vertically. Open the media tool and highlight this placeholder 1. Press Alt on your keyboard and hold it and replace it with placeholder 2. Also the text placeholder 1, change it to text placeholder 2. And the flares, you also have to change it. Press P on your keyboard for the position and move the flares just enough to where we want to place our flares. I will go back to the placeholder 2 and delete this video clip. Open your assets folder, footage and replace the video clips by choosing this one. Drag it down to your timeline or go to your composition and create a new composition. Name it clouds. 1920 by 1080p, 3 frames per second and 6 seconds duration. Click OK. Open the image folder. So I will highlight all these images here and drop it down to my timeline. I will first toggle switches in here and enable the 3D space layer. Then press P on my keyboard for the position. So I will start arranging these clouds to the position where I want, okay? I will go first to my project panel and drop this footage temporarily so I can see better. And then one by one I will arrange these clouds according to my preferences. Maybe you can change the opacity, size, and the position of your cloud. So I have to fast forward it guys so that you will not wait, okay? I will probably create a keyframe here by hitting the stopwatch and go forward my play at about at the end of my timeline and I will move my clouds a bit right here down a bit and highlight this cloud put back my playhead at the beginning of my timeline hit the stopwatch here to create a keyframe move my play to both at the end of my timeline and probably move my cloud here and also I will click S on my keyboard for the scale and I will create a keyframe here. Move my play to about at the end of my timeline and scale it up. So I have to fast forward it guys so that you will not wait, okay?
So let's try to play it. There you go. So I will just delete this one because I don't need it anymore. I just want it to be the basis of my repositioning my clouds. So I will go back to the media and I will go to my project panel and drop down these clouds. So again, I will create another folder and I will name it scene 2. I will also drag these clouds to my scene 1 folder. Open the scene 1 folder and highlight all these compositions. Go to edit and duplicate it. Then I will drag these duplicated compositions to my scene 2 folder. I will double click my mouse to open it up. I will change the text here by double clicking my mouse. Change the text to horizon. I will drag this a bit down and center it horizontally. Then I will enable this visibility here, highlight the slideshow and move it up. And double click my mouse to change the text. I will change it to vast. Then I will open the placeholder 3, delete this video clip. Go to my assets folder, open the footage and drop down this video clip then i will open the media 3 i will highlight this placeholder 2 click my keyboard out and hold it replace the placeholder 2 by placeholder 3 also highlight this text placeholder 2 replace it with text placeholder 3 also the flares change it to this comp 3 flare then move your playhead forward then press p on your keyboard for the position and move your flare down a bit. I think that's it. That's good enough. You can also click S on your keyboard for the scale and create a keyframe here, probably four seconds. Create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch. Move forward to about five seconds and make the value of your scale zero. So the same also with the other media. Just open it up, go to your flares, press S on your keyboard for the scale, move your play to about 4 seconds and create a keyframe. And then move again your play to about 5 seconds and make the scale value to 0. Open the media one. Do this also on the media one. Now we will go to composition, create a new composition and we will name it main. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second and the duration must be 18 seconds. Click OK, open the intro and go to media 1, drop it down to your timeline. Also open the scene 1 folder, find media 2, drop it down to your timeline. And also the scene 2 folder, open it up, drop down this media 3 on your timeline. I will move my player to about 5 seconds, highlight this layer, press open bracket key and then move again my player forward to about 10 seconds, highlight this layer and press open bracket key. I will go back and open media 2 and I will go to my assets, open the image folder and I will drop down this bird. So as you can see the bird is now here, right? So it's up to you where do you want to put the bird. So I'll just pre-compose it right away. Move all the attributes into the new composition and I will click OK. I will press P on my keyboard for the position. Drag it up a bit. I will also open the media tree and I will also drop this down on my timeline. I will right away pre-compose it. Move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Press P on your keyboard for the position, go to layer and transform it horizontally. So as we can see, the bird is on this side. So all I have to do is to drag it up a bit so we can see better. So I will open up the main. I will go open my footage, drop down this bokeh into my timeline. I will right click my mouse. Go to time and enable time remapping. I will expand this layer to the end of my timeline and move the keyframe here. I will right click my mouse to pre-compose it. Move all the attributes to the new composition. Click OK and I will press T on my keyboard for the opacity and change this to 50%. 
and change the blending mode to add. Move the clouds just below the light leak. Open the media 3. Move the clouds just below the light leak. So as you can see, the clouds are being affected by our light leak. I'll go back to main. Now I will highlight all these compositions and enable the 3D space layer. Move my player to about 4 seconds or so and highlight this media one. Press P on my keyboard for the position. I will create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch here. Move my playhead to about 5 seconds. Make this negative 3000. Enable the blur. Then I will go my playhead to about 9 seconds. Go to effects and preset. Go to transition. I will just use this glass wipe and create a keyframe here and move forward my player to about 10 seconds and I will make this 100%. Let's see what happens. And also this layer here, I will go to effects and preset, go to transition. I will use also glass wipe. I will create a keyframe for the completion and I will make it 100% and move forward my player to about 11 seconds change this to 0 if you will play this one you will see nice eh? I'll just move this keyframe here to about maybe 4 and 15 frames to make it faster. I will highlight these keyframes and press F9 to ease it. Go to your graph editor, make your graph like this. We will play it again. So guys our tutorial is done and I hope guys that you enjoy this video and learn something on it. If you like this video hit thumbs up to support my channel and share it to your friends if you'd like. For those people who are new in this channel subscribe like and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified in case I have videos to be uploaded in my channel and my thoughts for today guys is that seek for guidance and lean up on your own understanding thank you guys for watching and until next bye god bless